excited. Be sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell at the top so you can see more Hustler Tales, including mine, because we got some tea for y'all. Stay tuned. All right, now we're here with Miss Cortiana. Let's dive into the essential basics. This is the necessities. Tell them a little bit about yourself. Give them a quick summary. Okay, my name is Cortiana, and I am from Los Angeles, California. And I know a lot of people kind of, what part of LA? LA is such a big place. Um, I was born and raised in the Crenshaw District, but I consider myself to be an all-around Angelino because I've spent all of my life in every part of LA from here to the IE all over pretty much. What does it feel like dude? Because like Crenshaw, that man's is like Nipsey. What is that like to have such influences? Um, it's an I think it's super dope. Nipsey, rest in peace, is the GOAT and um he definitely left his stamp on our city um and we all look up to him, especially being that LA is like a super expensive place to live in and it's kind of hard to get out of your situation and having him as inspiration, listening to his music, it just gives you, um, I guess like the energy you need to like hustle and thrive and put yourself in a better position um, because a lot of us um, living where we live in the Crenshaw area or in areas that are a little bit impoverished or whatever it's it's kind of hard to see the brighter side of your situation or to see some type of divine purpose while you're you know hustling and trying to get to the other side so yeah I love it. Hustle and motivate. Absolutely. Yes. Exactly. And what's it like pursuing that dream? Being from Crenshaw and pursuing one of the most difficult careers out there. Um, I would say back in the day I'd be like, it's a lot of pressure because it's a lot of eyes on you, a lot of people keeping up with you, saying, you know, what are you doing? When are you gonna do it? Like it's it's a learning experience, I will say. Um I am thankful for the ups and the downs and um yeah i'm learning every day i really take it a day at a time it took me a long time to really just go with the flow of what i felt like my purpose was um so yeah there's no time clock on anything i think today's world is teaching us that that you don't have to feel like it's you know there's an end stop it's a forever marathon like the marathon is always continuing yeah. sure. <laughs> like girl are you gonna say you say it, you said it yeah for sure <laughs> all right so we got a little bit into about you and we got a little intro so now we're gonna dive into our first segment song association are you ready for that i have no choice but to be ready <laughs> i'm not really good at this but surprisingly but we'll see Let's get it. Okay, so here are the rules. She's gonna have 10 seconds. I'm gonna give her a word and she has to come up with a song within those 10 seconds. If she fails to come up with a song within those 10 seconds, she gets a penalty. And if she gets three total, three strikes, you're out, baby, okay? And for that, the loss is gonna be that she has to post the most dustiest, crustiest. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> get this screen grab. <laughs> That's the dusty one right there. Video or picture of herself on her Instagram story, alright? So, let's get it. Now we're about to start up with this song association. Are you ready? Um, I don't have a choice. <laughs> alright, first word. Ready? Basic. Basic, basic. Next word, L O V E, love. 
love so many things I've got to tell you but I'm afraid I don't know how but there's a possibility that you'll look at me differently love by music so child okay cool <laughs> <laughs> now okay. you got I into it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next word. Pop. Don't stop. Dick and pop. The, the party dick, don't dick, stop dick. now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh they, they say pop? Is it? Is it? Don't stop. They get hot. TikTok. The party don't stop. Yeah, I'm at a mix. Well, okay, let's see. I'll just... Kesha. That was my Kesha. Kesha. We can do a. We'll just maybe add up the lyrics later and see if it's really. <laughs> That, that, that's the default one. That's the default. We'll give you yeah. a half of half of half, half, point? Okay. half a point. Half a point. Okay. All right. I'll take it. Next word. It's gonna be a color, okay? She's like, okay, let me think. Red. Red. <laughs> Not even yellow submarine. <laughs> Two strikes, right? I lost already. No, you got two and a half because she only got a half point. So, <laughs> wait, I got love. <laughs> Dang, I could have came up with five songs of love. I would have won. I thought the whole thing. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you a pass on this one. I'll feel bad because you're so near to three strikes. So this we'll see. was red. I'm gonna really be trying to figure the out. The only one I can think of the red bottoms is is um Oh that, yeah. Think That's the one I kept on thinking about. Red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. Yeah. Why did I even think that either? <laughs> I don't That's know. Crazy. <laughs> and then alright, I'll make I'll make the next one simple. Because my girl, my girl don't got her thinking cap on. I don't. Let's go, let's yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Ready? Boy. If I were a boy. Okay. Baggy, okay. No, go, go, go. I want to hear, hear more. I want to hear more. Um, if I were a boy, I wouldn't pick up my phone. I don't know the lyrics, and Yashi is one of my favorites. <laughs> She's like, because you guys are funny. If, ever. if I were a boy, by Beyonce. Beyonce. And it's crazy because we just, my best friend is a Virgo, and Beyonce is a Virgo, and we just had a Beyonce party. And we won Song Association, but the, we had a Jeopardy, and the category was Beyonce. And I just couldn't get it. It's just, I have <laughs> short term, long term, and short term memory loss. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just, I think it's not, it's, I'm not gonna say that on here. <laughs> Yeah, I just my memory sometimes bad, but I love Beyonce and in that if I were boy did I get that point? Okay, right. cool. She loves you too. You picked up your phone. You got your props over here ready. I don't want to cheat. I saw you too. You look you're like I was like girl. Alright, next word is honey. Honey, okay. Honey, honey. I can see the stars all the way from here. By Beyonce. Oh, I thought you were gonna go with Mariah. No. I was waiting to hear Mariah. But... Yeah, love on top, Beyonce. <laughs> That's my shade. How many is that? There's one more left. Oh, I gotta make this one tough. Am sorry. I, how many? I, am I almost winning? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you so two strikes. Uh, we'll we'll let the people from the background choose the word. Somebody say a word, cause I can't make it make it tough, make it tough. Make it tough. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> bubble, bubbles, bubble, bubble, bubble. bubble? <laughs> you want me to lose? <laughs> oh my goodness. Bubble. I can't even think of anything for bubble. Well, 
Oh, Bubble Boy, the movie. I don't know. Oh, I know one. How much time is left? Two seconds. Tell me when she's done. Tell me when she's there. Bubble? Bubble Boy. Bubble, oh. bubble, bubble, bubble Boy. Stick it out. She got a bubble boy. Oh, I would have never guessed. I just, I just thought of that. That's a bop. That's a sure bop. Bubble uh, Boy. Bubble, mm. bubble, bubble, bubble hey. Boy. I remember that was like, what? Hey. It sounds like it went down that wiggle. It wiggle. What's the TikTok song? No, there's a new Bubble it. Butt song too. I I don't know. I forgot how it goes, but it's on TikTok. I, I can't believe that I guessed that. So I lost. Yeah. Dang. Uh, so it just has to be dusty. Like to let's me. see, let's see, let's go through it. Let's see what I got. Yeah. Oh shoot. Because you're gonna post it right now. And you're gonna show the camera that you keep posting it. Yeah. I'm like on the spot. <laughs> Girl, you was a child right there, though. Oh, it has to be dusty like today's world? Today's world. Because that's what people know you by. Don't be playing. You're trying to okay. get out easy, aren't you? Let me... I wish I could see all of y'all. Like, this is dusty. It's a child. You're a kid. I... How could you call your child self dusty? Because I was looking like, <laughs> somebody can sweep me up. I'm going to be in the washer. Ay, 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 bless. See, this is dusty. You mean the homegirls? <laughs> I was dusty right there. Uh. Oh no, that's dusty as hell. <laughs> that right there looking like that. <laughs> that. What is that? Are you eating a cherry. <laughs> that was dusty. How did that one? <laughs> Dusty, that is so dusty. What is it? I think, I think I'm thinking about it because you started crying, so I feel bad. Yeah, I was really, I was really teary eyed. Look at that, that is um, ugly. It's, it's loaded, but that is not nothing I can ever post. <laughs> it's, is it blurry still? Oh, no. oh, yeah, 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 let's do that. I got bumps on my forehead and everything. <laughs> So now we're gonna dive into a little bit more, but let's get more serious now. A little bit more about your music. Go for it. My music. Um, the last time we talked, um, I had released Rewind. Mm -hmm. um, I had expected to release like all my music. Like I expected to do a video, release another song, do a video, release another song, release a video, release another song. Um, but life happens, right? So, um, my timeline or my rollout, I kept creating these rollouts for myself. A rollout is pretty much your plan when um, releasing music. And um, I would put these dates and then they would get pushed forward. And I would put these new dates and they would get pushed further down the, um, not forward, it would get pushed further down um, my timeline. And so, um, yeah, I haven't put out any music since then, but I have recorded music since then. And before Rewind, I also recorded um, music. So I have a backpack full of songs. <laughs> it's an imaginary backpack. Um, I have a lot of music. Um, I will say it's been a learning process. Um, I guess not being able to release. I am an independent artist, but when you're working with a team of people, everyone has obligations and you i ultimately realized that you are the only person that's going to be able to push your um dream dream along right yeah. um so lately i've been um accumulating equipment to uh, learn how to engineer myself and um produce and i've just been trying to put my hands in every Everything. little thing so that um when I'm able to, I'll be able to um, make your own make stuff. Make my own yeah. stuff without having to wait for others. But that makes you like a versatile all-rounder artist. Yeah, so, and sure. I see you, girl. Right, so I'm, I'm definitely thankful. Um, before, I was kind of like being a little bratty, but like, I don't want to play this out right now. Like, I don't understand. I'm independent. <laughs> but things take time and money. For sure. So um, yeah, it's you gotta have a song mixed. You gotta, you know, a lot of things. Everybody has to be on one accord. And um, I thank God for this time that I've had um, 
not putting out music. Um, a lot of stuff has been going on in my family where I've needed to be present. And so I feel like if I was busy with music, as busy as I dream to be at this time, I wouldn't be able to be there. Um, so I am thankful that I'm able to um, be of service of my family. Um, and then also during this time I have also been recording music and seeing my growth process in every song I do I'm learning more about myself and I see and hear the growth so that is very exciting um, to watch my journey um, I don't post everything on my Instagram so people don't really know what I have going on um, but yeah there is a lot of behind the scene um, life stuff going on um, but I am absolutely still creating and um, yeah I'm excited I've met a lot of people in um, the industry that I've like looked up to and thinks who's really dope and been able to learn from others and I'm just thankful for the process and I'm just taking it one day at a time yeah God's timing you know exactly exactly I'm so proud of you girl that you that you like you didn't give up on yourself you're getting back in the whip of everything absolutely hey okay absolutely what's upcoming um upcoming so I don't know if my song will come out next, um, but I recently did a collaboration um, with um, an artist and musician named Terrace Martin. Um, he's an influential musician um, in the Crenshaw District area, and he helped a lot of artists, um, you know, get ready for their rollout and their debut. Um, he reached out to me, and um, I went to the studio, and he was like, I have two songs that I want you to do. I'm like, okay. Okay, dope. Like he didn't tell me about the songs prior to coming to the studio, <laughs> and so I'm just like sitting in the studio, and he plays a record, and I'm just listening to it. I'm thinking that he just want, wanted me to hear like you know some records, mm -hmm. and I'm like hearing Kendrick Lamar's voice, and I'm just like, mm. we're gonna have all that, right? Yeah. Right. And then he was like, yeah. So this is a song. This is one of the songs that I want you to get on. I'm like, nah. <laughs> were you, were you nervous? Picture. I was. Just sweating up and down like shaking like I was feeling so many different thoughts because it wasn't something that I expected to walk into um it was just like a lot of different energies trying to discourage me yeah I had a lot of different things going on so in my head damn. for sure I mean that's um, the lead up to Kendrick Lamar you know yeah it's and I and I've never met him but I've always um, been a supporter of his music um, I've always related to his music um, coming from here and it's so funny because um, in 2016 I did a play at the Dollar Hyde in Compton and um, it was for the bluest eye and I wrote him an email and I uh, tagged uh, Mayor Asia Brown and a bunch of different community people in Compton and I'm like Kendrick Lamar would be so cool if you come to this you know play. this play <laughs> but I never got a response so you know however many years later it's like oh like this is crazy this is We're on the same timing time. yeah, yeah it's so like... cool and although I never I haven't met him yet um just being um it's other goats on that song as well um like Ty Dolla Sign, um, Snoop Dogg was on the first one, um, it's called Drones, so Terrace Martin has an album called Drones, and I'm on the remix of Clones, um, and then the other song that I'm doing that's, I'm even more excited about, it's with DJ Battlecat and Terrace Martin, and basically, uh, it's called Angelus Vista, and I'm, it's a street off of, like, Crenshaw, it's in Lumert Park, and it, okay. it takes you from, like, Lumert Park, it, it's Vernon that turns into Angeles Vista, and I take the street every single day, so it's home. Um, That's sweet. Yeah, so it was super amazing um, recording that song as well, and we're supposed to do a video for it, and I believe that song will probably come out before um, my own music that I've been gearing up for, you know, forever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's exciting, like, just being in the studio environment, um, I recorded at a studio called Jim Henson Studio. And Jim Henson Studio is uh, where they used to shoot Soul Train and they shot uh, We Are The World uh, with Michael Jackson there. And Jim Henson, he basically created the Muppets. Um, oh, okay. 
Yeah, and so it's a lot of like history there. Yeah. And it's so funny because it's across the street from Crazy Girls. Do you know what Crazy Girls is? <laughs> it sounds like it's never. Mind. It is. <laughs> it is? It's oh. a, a club. Like, okay. That kind of club oh, okay. that you're probably thinking about. Yeah. <laughs> and so I've been there like growing up, 21, when I was, you know, you know, been there at nighttime. You know, <laughs> I was never dancing there. I mean, that's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but. <laughs> Yeah, I've definitely been there and partied there. So to have recorded across the street, um, it's a totally different vibe. And yeah, it's it's super crazy. I feel like I'm at like some kind of Disneyland. So so many different people like I would never think I would see in real life. I'd see there like Lil Nas X or like Lana Del Rey. Like I haven't seen Lana Del Rey. Well, I've never seen her in person, but she was just always an artist that I thought I'd never see. Um, so yeah, it's just so interesting seeing all the different people walking around there. Um, and yeah, I'm just so thankful for all the different people that I've, I've been meeting and the people that have been pouring into me um, and everything that I've been learning. Um, it's making me really not take the process for granted. Exactly. Um, yeah. And I mean, like, that, that whole quote, like, slow and steady wins the race. And I think that's so true because it's not on your timing. It's just, like, I, I believe, like, fate, you know? Like, yeah. And that's what it was for you. Like, you said that play and for Kendrick Lamar and, that, and then years pass, and here you are on a song with him. Like, what? Right, right, right. That's... I still haven't really hit me yet. <laughs> I'm like, just kind of like... Shocked. But it's... Honestly, even if I never meet him, I think that I have to remind myself like that is a big deal and yeah, and you're hard at work. Yeah. yeah, for for not like walking. Because honestly, I was like, I'm out. <laughs> I gotta go because this is not. I just had so much self doubt and I didn't think that I was capable. And um, I just. What did you do to kind of like get out of that? Because you had to still perform, girl. Yeah, I had to still perform. Everybody's like in the room like, okay, go ahead. What you going to put? <laughs> um, and I just kind of like freestyled the verse. Um, what made, what gave me a lot of pressure is that the song is called Drones, right? So we think about the technology, the time we're in and how advanced technology is mm -hmm. um, and how we're so addicted to our phone that we kind of forget about like, mental connection and human interaction human interaction yeah, right yeah. and so our generation were like the clones of you know um of the drones right so they wanted a female perspective and so i was just like wow that's a lot of that's some big shoes to fill mm -hmm. um but i kind of just went with whatever my heart said and um i was able to go back and i think i probably fixed one thing um but they were satisfied with the performance so um and even myself i was like y'all sure that's good you want me to do it again? <laughs> but um yeah i'm thankful to be um even just the album in general um has a lot of like amazing amazing um artists on there so yeah just to be one amongst of yeah, to be one of them. I'm like amongst them too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, one of them, girl. Not a monster. For sure. It's definitely a blessing and I'm excited to, you know, um, for it to come out to shoot the video for Angela's Vista. So look out for that. Hey, I'm so proud of you. All right, next segment is design your own album. So I want you to put your passion, what you want, your viewers, your audience, what you want them to convey as they look at this album cover. You know, because like a book cover, it tells a lot about the story. So here you go, you're going to have two minutes. And with that, while you're drawing your little album, we're going to get the messages, all right, to the youth and to hustlers. So first message to the youth, and start your album, girl. Okay, I would say my first. Ooh, this is like a tongue twister. <laughs> to think that one. <laughs> my message to the youth, um, it would be go after whatever your heart is telling you to go after, and don't be afraid to do something you haven't tried before. And if you don't know, ask questions. You got two minutes, baby. Oh shoot. <laughs> but, um, but but yeah, no, I feel keep, you. I feel you. I feel you. Shoot. And then um, message to hustlers. Message to hustlers. Thank you for not giving up and going after the grind, mm -hmm. no matter what it is. Um, everything is a hustle. Anything you work hard for that creates um, some kind of um, result, I feel like is a hustle, and it's it's hard to commit to something and when you do <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Message to the hustlers, and this is a message to myself. Never give up, keep going, the marathon continues. Hey. The bills gotta get paid, all right? So, don't be lazy. It don't matter what you do. I do it all. Like, I do it all. <laughs> deliver, deliver groceries, Uber Eat, everything I do. So, there's no shame in my game. Um, dang, this is not cute. <laughs> Damn. I'm just drawing. <laughs> Cause I know I want myself as the cover. But I want the background to like show where's the hair? <laughs> Baying. Oh man, this is not it. <sighs> I be wearing red hair sometimes. <laughs> Time! She got half red, half brown. And this is the infamous Cortiana. Catch her next album. Buy it. Buy it. Stream it. Stream Make it. Make a reel to it. Make a TikTok. TikTok it. Let's go. Duplicate it. <laughs> Marketing. Cortiana. Transition scene. Bam! Alright, we're outside now. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Popped outside. Wait. Popped outside. Let's go. Alright. So now, what's it like to be an adult? Ooh, I'm not gonna complain at all. <laughs> if you asked me this last year, I'd be like, ah, being an adult is a lot. It's a lot, it is a lot. Living in Los Angeles, um, I don't think people get what we have to deal with outside of the traffic, <laughs> traffic, traffic. Um, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna compare traffic to being an adult because you gotta drive to point A and point B. Uh -huh. um, but the cost of living in LA is so much. A lot of my friends from out of state constantly ask me like, why don't you just move out here? Like what you pay for a two bedroom apartment, you can get a five bedroom house out here. Yeah. Um, but this is home and all yeah. my family's here. Yeah. And I'm one of those people that would never move. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I'm not, <laughs> moving i'll go visit and have a vacation home here have my real estate there and here and everywhere but um yeah it's you LA. gotta hustle to live here yeah and unless you're just ha you just you know blessed to have you know a family with money and things like that mm -hmm. but being adult and living on my own i've been living on my own for about um a little over a year now and um, I thought I was gonna move um, out of my mom's and I would be like having all these parties. I don't have any company. I don't have any company at all because I'm like the dad from Everybody Hates Chris. <laughs> I'm cheap, 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 cheap. Like the utilities, I don't even sit and watch TV and play the air and do all that, like the heater. Like I don't like to run it up because it costs. It really it does cost. Up. It really yeah. adds up. Every time you walk out of the house in LA, it's like, oh, you might spend five hundred dollars, and I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm trying I don't to make five hundred dollars in a week <laughs> or six, eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Like, it's a lot, but um, it's definitely a learning process, and I've been learning how to manage my my money better. Um, a lot of ups and downs in the financial pocket, but God has always been on time. And shout out to my village, y'all know who y'all are because yeah it's hard out here and the rent is due the car note is due and you know phone bill and this is not and everything it's a lot but i'm thankful for um the trials and tribulations and being able to get over them and yeah, it only makes make it to the next day yeah. absolutely like being able to wake up the next day and try it again and put my, I just try to put my best foot forward every day as an adult and um, better myself. I don't drink anymore. I just wanted to say that. I know you didn't ask. <laughs> don't ask. I don't know. I don't drink anymore and I encourage the youth not to drink. Um, it's not a pretty place. The bottles are pretty. Yeah, the bottles are pretty, but it just smells like puke and it, it doesn't make me like feel good. Puke. It tastes like puke. Exactly. It's not cool. So, I don't know. I'm kind of trying to age backwards. Being an adult, if you stress too much, it'll just make you look crazy and feel crazy. Um, but, yeah, being an adult, I'm glad to be here. So, I wouldn't say anything negative about being an adult. It's great. 
I mean, another day, right? Right. Yeah. Make sure to check out her new album. Hey, what's it called? What's it called? Fantasies. Fantasies. Make sure. I hope you have nice dreams, not nightmares, all right? All right, we're here to hear, folks. We're here with Miss Cortiana. Thank you for being on this podcast. Thank you for having me. Of course. Me. Woo! Share your ads and socials so people can follow you. Um, my um, Instagram is at C O U R T Y, period. C O U R T Y. From there, you can click the link in my bio to find all my other social media outlets. Hey, and make sure to check out her music, you know, like. Rewind is like perfect for if you're in the field. So you just need some Ben and Jerry's and like some movies, all right? So check out. All right, we're here to hear folks. Be kind, support each other, and as always, keep hustling. Hey, peace. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We found the photo. Can we say it was like a prank <laughs> that I lost? Okay. <laughs> they were like, who are you about this? <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> okay, so I'll post it, I promise.